there! Welcome to my channel! If you are new, my name is Elizabeth, and if you are not new, thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you with some life altering information. I have been in a relationship for three years now and I found that having a really successful relationship all started because I wore makeup to impress other people. Like I don't ever wear makeup for myself. I wear makeup to like impress everybody that I walk by. I want the cashier at the grocery store when I'm buying my tampons to go, wow, look at that makeup. And I never ever wear makeup for myself like I just want to make sure that like the world thinks that I'm amazing and perfect and who cares if I don't wear makeup for myself like all I want is the approval of other people and all I want is opinions that I don't ask for so if you want to get yourself all the guys on this planet if you want to have the hottie of your school if you want to have his number if you want the pizza guy asking to deliver to your house you gotta watch this tutorial because today I'm going to teach you how to wear makeup to impress other people. Now, I'm not going to say that this tutorial is super affordable, but you can totally substitute with other products just to make sure like you get the full glam look that I know we all want in order to impress other people. Okay, so let's get into it. Today, for moisturizer, I'm gonna be applying some Swath Smoothing Lotion with cocoa butter and shea, because I wanna smell good to impress other people. So, mmm, just getting that all over my face. Oh yeah, I'm gonna smell that cocoa butter and shea for the boy at the grocery store. Mmm, okay. Okay, now that that's all nice and put in, and remember, use dirty hands, because you wanna like, you know, impress other people. So, now that I have put on my moisturizer, I'm gonna go in and apply my foundation. To apply my foundation, I am going to be using a beauty blender. So, today's foundation, I'm going to be using CoverGirl True Blend. This is literally one of my favorite foundations. This is in shade Ivory. Oh no, the lid isn't working. But I want to add some more foundation, so I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Atlas Stay Luminous Foundation. This is also one of my favorite foundations. This is in shade Classic Ivory. Okay, here we go. Just blending this all out. You really want to make sure you get it into your hair too. Like that, yes. Just like that. Literally, the boys are going to be like, wow, blending game on point. So I just want to zoom in real close to show you guys how to blend out your foundation to get the man of your dreams. But before we finish blending out all of our foundation, I also want to cover up my neck because I just know that like so many people look at my neck and they go wow what a hot neck like I love the foundation on her neck so today I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in shade creamy vanilla just putting that on my beauty blender and here we go blend 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 I think that's blended well enough. I do have to say you all are definitely going to agree with me. Look how well that's blended out. Okay, so now that we have applied all of our foundation, we're not going to set it because I know boys just totally look down on us when we have a set foundation and we look a little powdery. So <laughs> skip that step. So next thing we're going to do is apply our concealer. Today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Coverall Concealer in shade Light. And I'm just going to be putting that under my eyes. Just because I know all boys appreciate orange concealer. And we're not blending that out with a beauty blender. We're just going to leave that there because you want your dark circles to be covered. You don't want to have, like, your circles coming out on your foundation because that would look, like, 
weird. So you're just gonna leave this not blended. Trust me, this will get you any man, even the sous chef at like hibachi grill or something. Like you can get any man doing this. Okay, so we have our foundation and we have our concealer. Next, we are going to be doing brows. Today for my brows, I'm gonna be using NYX Vivid Brights. This is an eyeliner, but personally, I just love having a super bold brow. So for a bold brow, I'm gonna be using the shade, this is purple. I just want like super bold to be noticed on the streets. So I'm just gonna fill that in real quick, make sure I'm not getting too harsh of line. I don't wanna have like drawn on brows or anything. Yeah, just like that. You really want to make sure you're using light strokes. Yeah, do you see how well I like blended that out and everything? Make sure you do the other side, just like we talked about in the beginning. Short strokes. You want that bold brow. Nice and bold brow. Just start short strokes. Okay, so brows are done. Oh, this is so exciting. Definitely gonna be going out to the grocery store just so I can show off this look. So next, you're gonna wanna bronze up just to give yourself some definition to your cheekbones. Definitely because I have a round face. I definitely like wanna have some cheekbones just to look, make my face look a little bit thinner. So today I'm gonna be using the uh, Be A Bombshell Cosmetics Tanorexic Bronzer. I'm just going to be using a crease brush because who needs bronzing brushes? So we're just going to mm -hmm, get that all right up and in there and just give yourself like a nice harsh line. That way you look like you have like really like cheekbones. Like you look so thin. You look like Angelina Jolie. I trust me. I promise you. Just want to bronze out your temples. Kind of give your face a little bit of shape. Don't forget, just like going in there, using that crease brush. Give yourself cheekbones, girl. Look, this is all nice and blended out. But I do just want to give myself a little bit more color, so that is exactly what I'm doing. And I like to go underneath my lip with bronzer because it helps give my bottom lip an appearance of being like larger, just like Kim K. So just like that. But don't forget your nose. You want to have a nose job, right? Well, you want to make it look like because that's what all the boys want. All boys want girls with nose jobs. So we're just giving ourselves just a little bit of bronzer, not too much. Look, look how thin our nose looks. Okay, okay, so we got our bronzer on. Next thing is blush. Girls, this is going so great. I'm so excited. So next thing we're going to be doing is blush personally me personally I like a really like harsh blush just to make it look like I'm awake so today I'm gonna be using the makeup revolution mermaids forever palette but I'm gonna be using this red shade right here and just using my dirty fingers and whoa, look at all that color I look so healthy oh my gosh yes boo look at that pigment oh yes okay and the other side Mm, this looks so good, girls. This really does look good. Come on. Mm, I just want to zoom in. So we're almost done, basically. So just zooming in is showing you all what's got going on. Mm, okay. Next, we are going to be doing highlight because the most important part of makeup is a highlight. Am I right? So today, I'm gonna be using a contour brush to apply my highlighter. This is the NYX Duochromatic um, Illuminating Powder in Synthetica. We're just gonna swirl our brush in there. Make sure it's nice and pigmented because we don't wanna build up. We wanna harsh, harsh um, highlight. Oh yes, boo, mm -hmm. Look at that glow, girl. Oh my gosh. Bring that up into the temples because you don't want like your whole face looking bad. You want to glow like a goddess. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Next is like literally my favorite part. So today we're going to be doing, well right now we're going to be doing our eyeshadow. Mm. 
So for our eyes, we are gonna be using just a couple of brushes. You can use your fingers too, but we're still gonna be using the uh, Makeup Revolution Mermaids Forever palette. So in order to blend out and give yourself a nice transition color, you're gonna dip into this blue right here and just smear that all across your lid. Just go last, just like that. You want to bring it out too and blend it out. Just going in on the other side, doing the other side. Blending out, giving ourselves some nice definition in our crease. Am I right, ladies? Okay. Oh, no. I forgot to highlight my nose. Oh, no. I almost forgot. Okay. It's okay. So we're just using the same Synthetica highlighter. And I'm just going to use my pinky and... Just give my nose some nice highlight. Mm, okay. So now that our eyeshadow is all blended out, we're going to have to go in and add some more definition to our eyes, okay? Because you want your eyes to look nice and big for all the boys. So now we're going to be going in with the same red that we used earlier for our blush and this brown color and just Tapping that all over our lid. We are looking for the camo effect, kind of. Just going in a little bit more. Just like that. Yeah, so pretty. Oh my gosh, all the gores. Oh my gosh, I'm really gonna have to like fight to keep their hands off me. Okay, now I'm just grabbing like the Naked 2 brush. This is from the Naked 2 palette and I'm just gonna be using the like applicator end and going in with this light teal this green and this dark green and just just like that just like smearing it all over literally you're gonna look so good i promise you blend that girl you don't want no like non-blended lines just do that on the other side too don't forget I'll zoom in nice and close so you guys can see basically the final product of my eyes. Okay, and I just want like a little bit more color to my eyes. So I'm going to be using this silver right here and just applying that too. Like all over. Yeah, doesn't this look so good? Okay, okay. So now... We're gonna put that palette down and you wanna smoke out the bottom part of your lash, lash line before you call in the day. This look is almost over, but we aren't done yet. So let's keep going, girls. So you wanna use this bright pink color right here and just smudge that under your eye. Give yourself a nice smoky eye. I'm also gonna be adding some orange and just bringing that down. Nice smoky eye. Oh yeah, just look at that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now that this is all nice and smoked out, you're probably going to want to apply some lashes, but I'm not there yet. I want to apply some liquid liner to give myself a nice wing so i'm going to be using the maybelline master precise curvy eyeliner and just drawing out a wing real quick and who cares if they're even because like certainly nobody even gonna notice and guys totally think the uneven eyeliner is just it's a turn on i promise you Just like that. Isn't this so cute? I love this look so much. It is literally so perfect. Okay. So now that we are basically all done with the eyes, you're going to want to apply some mascara, but not a whole lot because you're going to apply some lashes. So I just zoomed in a little bit just so you guys can see exactly what's going on. I don't want you to miss a single detail. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara because this thing makes my lashes clump like crazy and guys love clumpy lashes. So literally just going in and like not caring if I get this above like on my eye makeup because it really just helps everything like blend together if you get mascara on your lid 
so that's what we're doing you guys have to post your looks like of doing this on instagram and tag me because i would love to see how beautiful you all look this really is oppressive you can totally wear this to a job interview you can wear this on the first date you can wear this to thanksgiving This seriously is the cutest look ever. It's totally daytime and nighttime appropriate. Okay, now that we are all done with mascara, we are going to go in. And personally, I just want to like bolden up my look a little bit more. So I'm going to be applying lashes. These are the newest some. Serengeti lashes these are $25 so you don't need lash glue because like seriously who needs lash glue it's so wasteful so you can just use your spit and just yep just like that and the same thing on the other side oops I guess I didn't apply enough spit that's okay just like that mm-hmm and they might fall off but that's okay because Guys will totally like love to help you find your lashes. So just like this, totally, totally natural looking. So we are, see, look, some guy would love to help me get that lash. So we're just gonna lick again and stick. And if you wanna bolden up your look, you can totally leave this lash here and put this lash under like this. No guy will ever know that you're ever not wearing false lashes. So. Oh no, there goes my lash again. I guess my spit isn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. Oh well, I guess we'll put them on at the end of the look. So last but not least, we have our lips. So you want to overdraw so you have like super big Kim K lips. So to overdraw today, I'm going to be using the same thing that I used on my eyebrows and that is the NYX Vivid Bright uh, eyeliner, but I'm just overdrawing because I want to give myself the appearance that I have super full lips, just like Kim K. And who cares if they're even because not everybody's lips are even, in all honesty. So, oh, Drew's just gonna let that dry for a hot second. Mm hmm. Letting that all nice and set. Then we're gonna be using two lipsticks. I'm gonna be using the, what is this? This is the Folly, what? Fall, Faux Lacquer Matte Lips, it says. So let's see if it really is. So just going ahead and applying that real nice. Oh, look at that, it's so light. Mm, and it's making my lips burn. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so big. Okay, so I want some more color than this. So I'm gonna be using Lime Crime Diamond Crushers in shade Fluke. And it's filling in everything that I just drew in. It's okay if you go over the line a little bit. Not too big of a deal. Hmm. I want some more color. This just isn't doing it for me. Okay, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in shade Crafty just to give my lips some contour. Look nice and contoured. But I want to just do add a little bit more gloss. So I'm going to be going back in with the Diamond Crushers. Oh, look how nice and contoured that is. That is so nice looking. Okay. No, we are almost done. Just gotta go in and remember to apply our lashes with our spit. So, uh, uh, uh. And grabbing the other one. Underneath, just like that. Oh shoot, it's not going to stay. Okay. So that is it for today's tutorial. This is exactly how you want to like wear your makeup if you're looking to impress anybody. And I mean anybody. Everybody's going to want to see your lashes fall off and you just constantly sit there and reapply. 
So if you're looking to like impress your new boss or like impress your boyfriend or your girlfriend or like show your parents that you're really serious about your life and that you're being coming more mature and like learning how to apply your makeup properly, this is the look you want to do. Let me know what you guys think of this tutorial down below. I almost forgot. I seriously almost forgot. When going out on a date, you gotta do your hair right. So as you can see that I like put in all this foundation, you wanna make sure your hair is all nice and big. So that's what we're doing now. We're just going ahead and applying our hair in a nice top bun. And then we're gonna like bring it out to make it nice and big looking. I look just like Madonna right now. Like, ooh. Every guy would love to have a girl like me, am I right? So let me know what you guys think of this tutorial down below in the description box. As always, I love hearing from you. Good luck on your first date, ladies.